guys, welcome to today's video. Today is shopping Saturday, and boy, do I have a surprise. Surprise number one, you may ask, why is Sam running down to the barn as fast as he can? It's because he's flooding the field currently by leaving the hose on for all these hours. Uh, there's Chino in the field, and there's Finny Boy. Today I am wearing a t-shirt and some capris. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I got bare skin outside. Yeah, bare skin it is really chilly. It's like cold enough for me to be like, wow, what are you doing, Laura? But I know it's about to get really warm. It's gonna be probably 20 degrees by the end of this day. 20 degrees, it's Celsius. That's like 70 something probably, 70. Yeah, it's probably like 70 degrees and you guys are probably thinking it had to be a whole lot warmer than 70 degrees to go outside dressed with nothing on your arms but in Canada we are so tough because we're so used to cold extreme cold weather that we can rock cooler weather and think it's warm right shavings this is our weekly shavings we've used about five or six bags in a week for three horses I found this adorable harness for Molly and we got more chicken food pull it grower if you don't live in Canada I wonder if you appreciate the heat the way that we do like once summer happens here people get insane like people are outside for from May till September always they just are always outside but I wonder if it's hot everywhere all like if it's always hot where you live if you take it or if you take the heat for granted we canadians do not i imagine this halter that i found hip pup doggies is probably sophie's because she's the one that buys all this stuff but this would fit molly and it's adorable what better way to start off summer we are shopping we're at the dollar store it's look at those don't they look so cute little the ice coconuts. yeah they look good too I haven't been in a dollar store in weeks and weeks and weeks, so it's exciting for me even to just get out and go in a store and look around. Yeah, we need owls. Owls are good luck. Keep away the birds in the barn. Keep away the what? I saw a chipmunk the in birds our... Birds in the barn. Oh, do you think that would work? Yeah, that's what people buy. Owls and stuff. Oh, we should get the one from the trailer. Cute. That looks cool. Oh my gosh, Gabby would die. This is such a good thing for the puppy. This is really cool too. It's a dog cooling mat. And you guys might not know, but Ruby, no, Molly is really hot all the time. So this is what it looks like. It's for them to lay on. She would love that. They also have a cooling bowl. You stick it in the freezer and then it stays cold for eight hours. Sam's already breaking the rules. Like, where are the arrows? Now that I see them. Do you think she'd like one of these balls? They're huge, but they're really soft and cushy. Do they have a pink one? Yes, I bought so much stuff. I don't know if you can see how much stuff I bought, but I bought stuff. When I was a little girl, we had a cottage growing up, and my parents, my mom would go like, we'd be at the cottage with my dad, and my mom would go shopping, and to get groceries, and she would always come back like, with a whole bunch of fun, special things for us. Usually I like at the beginning of the season at our cottage, if it was a rainy day and we were little, we color and stuff. So she always came back with like crafts and fun stuff, water toys, like just fun stuff. And today it felt so good to just go out there and buy my kids some fun stuff. Like it was amazing. Let me tell you, most of this bag is for Molly though. Okay Sam, tell the truth. How do you feel about Molly? Your honest opinion. Now, keep in mind before Sam gives his honest opinion that he's a little jealous that Gabby has his dream dog. He's a little jealous that Gabby got a new puppy. Tell us, how do you feel about the new the new puppy? My new dog? Yeah, she's how, perfect. She's perfect. Right. Yeah. So, at night, so Gabby takes care of that dog 20, 20 hours a day. Like, she is on that puppy like you would not believe. She takes care of her, she grooms her, she trains her, she loves on her, she takes her outside a hundred million times a day. But there are a few sweet hours at night where she plays um, online with Kaylee and she takes care of the puppy then too. She lets her run around, she can't, keeps an eye out for her, but that's the time when Sam and I swoop in to steal the puppy. And Sam and I both do it. And 
she's bonded with all of us. Like it's, I don't know. Is she the best puppy we've ever had? Maybe. <laughs> she is. We've had some really phenomenal puppies. Like some really good puppies. Holy heck. Like if you're nervous or scared to go out there and get something that you've been dying to have because you're not sure, go out there and do it. Like she is the best puppy she's definitely in the puppy stage and she likes to chew and and be rambunctious but oh man Sam and I are loving it last night she cuddled on the couch and by cuddling I mean she tried to eat my face for 10 minutes straight but then there's another time at night when Gabby gets ready for bed you guys don't know that Gabby takes five million hours to get ready for bed <laughs> so she puts the puppy in her bed and then Sam and I swoop in again and we go and play in Gabby's room with her while Gabby gets ready for bed. It's been phenomenal. It's been great for our family. Even Sophie swoops in and Gabby gives Sophie lots of turns. It's been, she has been a dream puppy, dream. So when I was little and my mom would come home with a, with a ginormous bag of stuff, she'd just hand it to us and be like, oh, here you go. And then we could go off on our own and explore the things that she bought us. But I'm not that kind of person. It was not Corona time. After you experience a time where you can't go shopping, shopping takes on a whole new. So dad took me shopping and I got a bunch of stuff for your puppy that you can do a dollar store puppy. Hey guys. Call. Yeah, I got some stuff for you. Fun. I got you. So you guys don't know, but Sophie struggles with finding comfortable shoes to wear down at the barn. They're Crocs, they're fake Crocs, they're but they're ugly. They're cute, they're light blue. Put it on, see if it fits you. Oh my goodness, look, Mommy. They're ugly, but and they're, they're not comfy. Oh, so far, not so good. All right, how about this? I got you. Turn around and show them. Free these. Me? Well, you have to share them with everybody, but I knew you would like them best. Oh, that got me chicken food. Yeah, and we got chicken food. I am at not showing any of the puppy stuff because Gabby's going to do a video, but we did get a puppy haul from the dollar store. But I, one thing I did get for Gabby, she's been asking for them. Okay. Makeup wipes. Let's show them. They're not for you, puppy. Yes, I know you think everything is for you because everybody in this house loves you. Uh, the retinol cleansing wipes, so we got those. She wanted them. I did not get you glue, but I couldn't figure out what to get you. I was, Dad got you something. I don't know. Shaving, maybe? I got you some flip-flops. It's flip-flop season. I got you flip-flops, too. I don't flip-flops. Oh, that's gonna suck. I guess I got myself some. No, when we go places. We can't go anywhere. I know, but look, I got you white ones. I you like, Birkenstocks. but you love white. I have Birkenstocks. Oh gosh, okay. This haul is turning into a mess. I got you pink ones. These are for when we go places. Those are cute. I can't go anywhere. I know, but we will be going places. March 4. I got you lipstick. I don't know if you'll like them. I got you eyeshadow. They didn't have any blush. I got you. Oh my goodness. That's for Sophie. <laughs> Thank you! You got her glue? How? How? What? I, I, this was my parent. moment! This is, he stole my moment! That's a favorite parent. How? Why? How? That's I, a favorite parent. Because I asked Dad this way. Tess the favorite parent. Did he buy you anything? No. Tess the favorite parent. Apparently. Yeah. Um, I also bought us a gardening tool. And the last the last two things are for Molly. She's like, I'm getting out of here with this toy. I knew she'd like that because it's like a bottle. Look, she won't even leave it. <laughs> it's like a water bottle. Yeah, it's like a water bottle. But softer. Oh, this is a cleaning toy. Yeah. Dad got me glue. Yeah, I can't believe it. What's better though, glue or this super amazing squishy glue. that's pink and gorgeous? Glue. Really? Because I can cut this open and because it's metallic, the slime can be metallic. So you're going to use my thing to make your dad's thing better? No, they're both equally good. Oh, that's good. So one of my goals today is to try and get this garden cleaned up. It has got lots of grass growing in it. It's a big mess. 
Sophie pulled out a weed and then she quit. Those are her new croc type shoes. I honestly don't think our chickens are very awesome because they stay inside all day. So we brought them some cabbage. Sophie brought them some cabbage. They do go on those little, um, what are they called again? Perches. Little perches. But for the most part, they do stay inside. We bought you guys new food today. Why are you staying inside? They're, to me, they don't even look like they grew. And we give them a lot of food. You never know what you're buying, but I think they're okay. Why are you guys hanging out inside? I wanted to kind of check and see if any of them really look like roosters today. Oh my gosh, look at him sticking his head. Oh, look at he's a rooster. I bet you he's a rooster. Okay, so my big goal for the weekend, I have to get Sam on board. We also need to give them fresh water, Sophie. My big goal for the weekend, or maybe for this weekend and next weekend, is that I want to give the chickens a bigger area to roam. Like, I think they'd really love to come out over here and eat in all this grass stuff. Like, I'd like to extend their coop to come out all the way over to here and then come this way and go around. Yeah, put the tree in their coop. Like, extend the coop so it goes there and then over to here, back to there, and then to the front. Well, I know my dream puppy. What's your dream puppy? A Dalmatian. Sophie wants a Dalmatian. Today, when we went out shopping and we came home and Dad went back out to get her uh, the glue that he bought her, she thought he was going to surprise her with the puppy. We may have taken the surprising know. people a little too far. Wow, they don't even climb up. They just jump. Do they? Yeah, Raven just jumped up. All right, so here's the problem with my, what I want to do. Sam says that we have to keep the, the, we have to keep everything intact because we don't want to be cutting holes in our netting. So he says we have to keep it the way that it is and then build everything from the door. So basically we're going to have to build from the door and then go back that way. Mm. Do you think we can do you think we can do it? I think dad can. I think dad can too. Do you think we can convince dad to do it? No. Oh yeah. Mother's Day is coming up. If I have to use the Mother Day card, I will. I can't really tell which ones are chickens. So that white one is a chick is a chicken. Brown. That barred rock looks like a chicken. She looks like That's a, a rooster. No, because Chicken Little already had like green on him. I think uh, when I look in there, I see two roosters. That one with the beautiful red on him. And then our other red one. That one right there at the back. That looks like a rooster We don't too. have two red ones. Okay, no, the black one with the red on it. He's gonna be pretty, I'd keep yes, him. The... Sam is on the last leg of his hay run. Good job. How much hay does he have left? Did you see a lot of hay left? Hey, Stormy boy, how you feeling? He's still got some hay left there, a little bit of water. You want some fresh stuff? He's watching his boys out, the, out in the field there. He's not complaining though. Like he hasn't been freaking out or stressed out or anything being locked in the barn. Of course he has friends. Literally, there are so many things that I want to do today and the day is already half over. We spent so much time shopping. So the next thing that I want to do is I want Sam to, you guys saw when Skye was all nervous and she kind of made this into a big, huge, horsey nightmare. Um, I want Sam to take the tractor today and try and drag this and kind of even it out a bit before we start putting the horses back out there. I also want to kind of clean this up. So basically I better get started and I'm still waiting for Gabby. If you guys don't know, I've never had a 13 year old daughter before. Things have changed though. Ever since she turned 13, actually ever since she turned 12 and a half. Oh, here she comes. But yeah, it's true. She's a changed woman. She can't do anything in a timely fashion anymore. Well, she never could. But she also can't go anywhere until she looks beautiful. Let's go see how she looks. Bring in your hay. We're bringing more hay. Hey, Gracie. The horses actually, the uh, ponies actually love being in the stalls during the day so far. They haven't complained at all. 
As you can see, they're calm. Oh, and here comes little Miss. I know she loves mud. She's so cute. All right, so we're gonna work on the field, on the mayor's field. What do you think about that? She's like, yeah, I wear the proper shoes. Yeah, you wear the proper shoes. All right, so let's give everybody a job for this afternoon. First, we need to feed the horses lunch, but it's a bit early. What do you pick for a job? Everybody's gonna do a job before we have the rest of the day off. What jobs can I do? Okay, so. Playing on my computer. That's not a job, but nice try. You can help Poop pick the mare's field or Poop pick the gelding field. Which one do you prefer? None. Oh, there it's got. I'm poop picking today. We are poop picking today. I'm not poop picking. Today is today. Look I'm at you. I'm not poop picking. Got the stance going on. No. Nope. I'm not poop picking. Oh, we are. I'm not. Gabby yeah, already chose the mayor's field. I have to poop pick the arena because the boys have been. Oh, actually, I guess the, the girls did that. You don't get out of it that easy. So this is the thing did that Gabby. Notice anything new? Um, anything new? Let's see. There's two things. Two things new. Um. Right at the top. Work our way down to the bottom. You wore the right shoes down to the barn. Uh, you have nicer lipstick on. You brushed your teeth extra good. I didn't brush my teeth. I forgot. I was gonna. Um, turn around. Do a twirl. Um. There's two things new. How can you not know? Oh, she's got a necklace on. Yes, and. Did you change your earrings? Okay, let's see. And? Uh, your hair? Yes. Which one day that I put my hair up. I have two elastics. A scrunchie and underneath it is a black one so that it keeps, like, stays on instead of me having to tighten it. I was gonna guess all the mud from the puppy on your pants and shirt. Oh my god. Okay, so one thing you guys Holy don't crap. know. <laughs> it's for clean. Yeah. Oh, these are not. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. So I got the girls' ears pierced when they were nine weeks old. That's when you're allowed to do it here after they have their first set of vaccinations. And Gabby has basically been wearing the same earrings, the similar earrings. And we Sophie- We had to take it out a bunch of times and then put it back in for soccer. Yeah, so yeah, we had to take them out for it soccer. Hurt. Yeah, so she's kind of nervous to change them, but she wants to change her earrings. So do you have options? You said you have, have options? Two. Where'd you find them? In my room. Okay, so another thing is, is that the girls- You know that um, necklace thing mm -hmm. with the thing on top? That's where I got them. So one thing, we can't wear cheap jewelry. It makes us turn my swollen. My ears turn red. Beat you, red. You don't have any. I know. Yeah, we can only wear like real jewelry. Otherwise we have, it turns our skin green and we get really no, red and swollen. No, mine turns red. Yeah, it gets really ugly, so. Wait, same with me? Yeah, let's see yours. So Sophie's got these earrings and she's been wearing them since she was a baby. And as you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see. They are a bit small. I'm not changing. <laughs> she's not ready to change them yet. But Gabby's red. So Sam's family is Italian. In Italy, you give jewelry for First Communion and for any kind of religious ceremony. So they do both have um, jewelry boxes with nice jewelry in it that I they've never. Where mine is. Yeah, I, don't have a I have it. Box. No, they just don't know where it is. I guess. I have a jewelry box. Where's mine? But well, I'll show you when I get back up there. She's like, "What? I've been having nice stuff all along. I didn't know. I'll show you when we get back to the I house." Just have Stuff hanging up in my room. No, it that's all the cheap out. stuff. Yeah, that's all the cheap stuff. They have some really. You have a five hundred dollar necklace. Stuff. I saw some and expensive stuff. I got. You did see some expensive. Okay, well we'll show I you when we get from back. Italian family. We. I'll show you when we get back I to the house. I got a pair of earrings. From Italian, Italian and German. Yeah. So anyway, Gabby wants to change. That was a long-winded way to say that Gabby wants to finally change her earrings today. My so we're gonna right. work on that. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. There's like uh, it did when I was a child, but Dad also used pl pliers. There were a couple of times when she was a baby. And your dad used pliers. I don't think that's true. Did he? Because his fingers were too big to get the thing. There were a couple of times when she was little where she lost one earring, and then we had to do like some switcheroo, switcheroos. But yeah, it didn't... and for soccer. Yeah, and for soccer. So anyway, we'll catch you up in a little while. I'll show you the whole jewelry thing. 
Would you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you could show me out of here. I think she got something in the So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we exactly zero jobs that we set out to finish today zero I but finished. we finished we did half of the job we did half of all the jobs sort of mostly like a quarter of all the jobs my glorious summer weather and summer day turned into rain yeah it rained but that's okay we did get a lot done or we did get some done it was exciting I love dragging the arena like I'm excited you were wishing it would rain so we wouldn't have to do any more work you wished the rain on us Mm -hmm. Right, we are in Gabby's room now with little Miss Molly who's watching her owner. She's like, what are you doing? So basically, we do not know where our jewelry boxes went. Oh, we found it. We found Gabby's anyway, I think. This is a pink box, not a white one. Made in China. <laughs> Why does it have a 40 on it? You should open that window a bit. It's oh, hot it's in here. this thing. That's a necklace. That's one that your Oma gave you. Knew it. It's fancy, that's why. Yeah, it's super fancy. So, Molly's bed is filled with all her favorite toys. Gabby keeps all her favorite toys upstairs so that when she goes to bed... It's yarn. Oh, that's neat. Yarn. She's eating her mermaid, but her... Oh, are these sleepers? Her favorite toy... Are these sleepers? Yeah. Is her carrot. I don't know where it is. Where's your oh, carrot? The Oh, in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Those are sleepers. See, so she's got these sleepers. These are the ones that she had in when she was a baby, and then she outgrew them. Oh, another cross. Who knew? Who saw that? Coming? That is Sophie's. This? No, it's mine, isn't it? Oh, yeah, maybe that's yours. Let's Silver. see. Yeah, let's see. White gold. Basically, I have never let them have oh, this shoot. jewelry because I'm afraid what could happen. I wouldn't want it to get lost. These are like heirlooms from their babyhood. Gabby just found the mother load of makeup. If you guys are an OG member, you might remember when the girls got these makeup kits for Christmas. Why does it say Jordan on it? Sophie destroyed hers and Gabby barely used hers, I feel like. Her godparents got her this. It was made out of a fork. This is long before we got seriously into horses. This is back when she was about four. And it's made out of a fork and it's a little horse. More treasures. She found eyeshadow. My eyes were blue when I were younger. When I was younger? Yeah. They're so blue. Oh my yeah, God. it's true. Our eyes all changed when we got a little older. Okay, so you guys remember I told you we had a collie cross? There she is on the slip and slide with I two year old Gabby. Say hi, friends. These are my old Wait, blanket. Okay, watch. Kiss. Did you guys see? Kiss. Okay. She actually kisses, though. <laughs> She's so funny. She's a funny baby. Okay, just wait. Watch. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> all right. So, basically, this is all the jewelry that Gabby has compiled over the years. She's got a bunch of fun stuff, a bunch of old stuff. She's got a bunch of horse stuff. I love this one. I love that one, too. I had it since I was young, like our old, old house yeah. before we started vlogging. So when the girls were little, Sam used to spend so much time searching up horse jewelry and buying it for them for Christmas. Yeah, cute. I like this one's super cute. And the girls pretty much have the same of everything. That one's cute. And she's got this one. This one slipped over this my head, is a, I loved it. This is a locket. That's super cute. She's got, anyway, she's got a ton of different jewelry. Some of them are um, 
costume jewelry. No. Some of them are hearts. Some of them are stones. I love this one. Here's it another little horse. Yeah, that one's cute. Um, up here, she's got a bunch of earrings. Gabby, you got horse earrings. Oh, oh I went through all of them, but I don't like dangly ones. Kiss. Help, I need help doing it up. Ah! Thank you. I need help doing it all up. Personally, I think she should have these little horse heads. Aren't they so cute? Little ho rainbow horse head. Okay, so the choices are hearts. Or diamonds. Or diamonds. The problem is, I don't think any of them are real. It's gonna be a struggle. Molly, don't So, what are you gonna try? Diamonds. Okay, let's do it. This is the first time, you guys, that she's ever taken them out in 13 years. This is her first time ever doing it. No. Here, bring it here and I'll do it. Those They're ones. On tight. That's you, why I use pliers. <laughs> I don't think you use pliers. I think you have to turn those ones. Those ones are possibly ones that you turn. <laughs> There's a reason that you're supposed to take those earrings out after six weeks. I can't get it off. Let me try again. I got it out. It doesn't hurt as bad putting. So the problem is those ones, <laughs> the ones I took off have the bottom on them. They have the back on them that's never supposed to come off. They're for babies. These are like baby earrings. So they're hard to get off. She's coming. Don't worry. Hello. So it literally came with, Hi. so let's see. Let's see how it looks. It's really pretty. So it went in really easy, huh? Hopefully Do you want to try? And... Turn my ear all red. Do you want to try and put the other one in yourself? In? It's so easy. You no, can change them. Good. Okay. Do <laughs> you want me to try and take that one off? Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it twist? No, you just pull. Like these ones never come off. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god. Oh, you see it? No. <laughs> so it literally goes in so easy. All you have to do I is don't care. Look at the hole. Wait, I can't even see. And then shove. Oh, that's in? Yeah, so that's why you can, your hole is big enough now, you can just change it whenever you want. Is it in all the way? Yeah, no, they're it's a so different kind of a... Is it close enough to the ear? Yeah. I mean, they might not be comfy to sleep in, because they have like that because pointy... they have sharp... Yeah, so we'll see. I'll buy you some new ones though, as soon as we can go shopping. It won't be that bad. So, what do you she think? This is a whole new Gabby.